tonight, a group of paleontologists in Woodland Park are showing off a new genus of dinosaur. They've unveiled a 3D model of a new Tyrannosaur skull, a model that wasn't easy to complete. Garrido 13's Annabelle Childers explains what makes this discovery one of a kind. 22 years after portions of this skull were found, we finally have a full picture of it thanks to extensive research and 3D printing technology. Just off Highway 24 in Woodland Park sits the Dinosaur Resource Center. Inside the walls, paleontologists analyze the fossils of dinosaurs, and for years, they've worked to make sense of this discovery. In 2002, a paleontologist by the name of Walter Stein uncovered a lower jawbone in central Montana. Originally, we thought this was a T-Rex based on a few different factors, and uh, several years ago, we learned we were wrong. This isn't T-Rex. This isn't the common... Uh, dinosaur of the, the late Cretaceous. Anthony Maltese, the senior curator of Treebold Paleontology, says they learned they were looking at a much different dinosaur that appeared to have died at around 15 years old. It's 10 million years older than T-Rex though, and this is so rare, this is one of one, not one of like 50 or 80 or anything like that. This is the only one of this animal that's ever been found. Once they discovered they were looking at a new genus of dinosaur, they started to construct a 3D printed model of the entire skull. Plus we can fill it in with parts of the, of, you know, the real animal. We can mirror pieces that are missing and, uh, you know, make the most accurate to this animal um, restoration that we can. And this animal is so cool. The skull is around 40 inches long and Maltese says they're working to make a model of the entire dinosaur skeleton. All in all, the Tyrannosaur will be around 30 feet long. This skull will be on display until June 12th so that anyone from the public can come to see it. Reporting in Woodland Park, I'm Annabelle Childers for KRDO 13.